Hey there, uh, is it possible that you're watching this video and you've lost a sense of excitement about life? We talk about Monday blues and maybe Monday blues has become the new normal of your life. Well, it's possible that you could be battling or carrying something called a wounded spirit. It's possible that you've lost the excitement, the sense of zeal, the sense of eagerness about tomorrow, about your work, just passion for life. That's a symptom of what we call a crushed spirit. And we want to delve into this a bit uh, deeper. I want to invite you into this conversation as we talk about uh, a word for the wounded. My name is George Murichu and you're watching Sitam Church Online. Thank you so much for those of you who've subscribed. As you're watching this, hit that subscribe button, share, 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 and let's talk about uh, the wounded spirit. I just want to draw attention to the book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 14. This is Solomon, and Solomon was endowed with much wisdom from God. And this is what he says, that the human spirit can endure sickness, but a crushed spirit, who can bear? And I just uh, really was hit by the weight of this proverb, and so I checked it out in various translations. The New Living Translation says, the human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Another version says that a man's spirit will endure sickness, but a crushed spirit, who can bear? And friends, just the message that's coming across there is that on the one hand, it's very possible that your body can be unwell, and you can sail through, you can, uh, you can go through all kinds of sicknesses, all kinds of diseases. But if your spirit, if your spirit is broken or crushed, what I'm talking about as a wounded spirit, uh, the Bible talks about it as something that's very heavy. Who can bear that? And that's what we want to talk about today. If you're watching this video and you're uh, you're suspecting that you could be carrying what is called a wounded spirit, a crushed spirit. What are some of the symptoms of this? First of all, when the Bible talks about uh, the word spirit, that word is similar to, to, to wind. It's the word that we would use to describe wind and uh, force, that kind of thing. And when scripture goes ahead and talks about a crushed spirit, it's talking about you have lost your sense of excitement. You've lost your sense of zeal. You don't have a passion for life. If life was full color uh, when you're excited about it, a wounded spirit is someone who views life and it's black and white. You've lost that sense of color. You've lost that sense of zest. You're not excited about it anymore. And it seems like everything is at an all-time low and that's a sad place to be at it's a place where you don't know how to face tomorrow with confidence it's a place where your work seems to be a burden uh, your career is stagnating your relationships don't have the spark as much as they used to and the bible calls our attention to some things that can be causes of a crushed or a wounded spirit even before we, we talk about those causes, you can think about some things. Some, some stuff happen in our lives and maybe it could be a heartbreak, a relationship that you really, really treasured. And because it didn't work out as you had planned, you're carrying a wounded spirit. You're, you're broken, you're crushed. There's a word of hope for you. And this word is drawn uh, from the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. The Bible says, this is Paul, Paul is he's, uh, he's writing this letter to the church in Ephesus and he's telling the, the Ephesians there that I'm not praying for a change of circumstances. I'm not praying that, you know, everything around you may, may be perfect and that everything may align. What I'm actually praying for you is that you may be strengthened in your inner person. This is Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Paul says, I pray that out of his glorious riches 
he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Right there, Paul is saying that what we need, the cure for a wounded spirit, a crushed spirit, a broken heart, what you really, really need is not even a change of circumstances externally, in as much as that may be welcome and that's the thing that you may be craving for most. What we really need, as God's word is pointing out, is God strengthen my inner person. And Paul is someone who was acquainted with crushing and brokenness and wounding. He was familiar with tough circumstances. But then his prayer for, for that church, and that's a prayer you can make for yourself, is that God would strengthen you in your inner person. You know, we'll be talking a bit more about the wounded spirit. So for, for today, for starters, what I want to challenge you with is this prayer that Paul makes in the book of Ephesians. And I pray that if you're watching this video and you're broken hearted, you're crushed, you've lost a zest for life, God has a word for you. He always has a word for the wounded. He's close to the broken hearted. And his word is that by the power of his spirit, he's able to strengthen your inner being. We'll be having uh, more on this as we move along. So thank you for watching today's video. God bless you.